All right, you guys, it's clan chest time. That clan crown chest is unlocked. The league is reset as well. We are down to about 4,000 trophies. I put together three fun decks that I thought I would try now that I've been reset back down to 4,000. The first one is the cheapest possible elite barbarian deck. Elite barbs and then everything else super, super cheap. And uh, we'll see if this works. I don't know. Here uh, we've got make you wish and a level 11. I would prefer to find a level 10 right now, uh, but we'll take what we can get. Hopefully and uh, the idea here is just to rush. Okay. He's gonna go that watch this elite barbs rage fire spirits to protect them from anything like a skeleton army and Well, the golem is gonna distract one but only one. Let's see how far one elite barb can get on that other tower Looks like he's almost going to get it down Just about got that. Oh, oh he did he did I'm, I'm distracted on the other side. So we did get the tower down and um, That's the thing about this uh, league reset and now, you know, here's the thing. A lot of players I've heard are dropping trophies uh, in order to more quickly gain or more easily gain uh, the crown chest trophies, the crown, the crowns for the clan crown chest. That is a tongue twister. Okay, so that is something that's inevitable. People are going to do that, right? But here's the thing. You have to remember that anybody who is dropping trophies uh, is giving wins away to somebody else, right? So there's somebody else that's winning uh, in return for them dropping trophies. So it all kind of works out in the end. If you drop trophies, then you've given a, a, a bunch of wins away to other players. Now, the only time that that won't work out, uh, and this is something I heard about on Twitter, is if there were a clan that were to drop trophies right before the reset, with the intention of becoming the fastest clan ever, or the fastest you know group of people ever, I guess it would be clan ever, to um, to get the clan crown chest. Because obviously, uh, if you drop trophies right before the reset, then you're going to just smash on your way back up. And uh, the only problem with that is, is that when you do that, then you aren't giving those clan crown, clan crowns, I can't even say that. You're not giving those clan crowns to your opponents because they are unfortunately not eligible because it's seven days on and seven days off for the crown chest. And so because of that, that's one of the reasons that I feel like uh, that's something that should not be encouraged. There's no real reason to do that. And uh, it's just pointless. Uh, nobody's gonna get you know fame or fortune for being the fastest clan uh, to unlock the crown chest at the max level. There's no incentive uh, for being uh, any faster than anybody else. Uh, so, and that's one of the reasons, obviously, they did that. So, uh, we did manage to get in, and we got the three crowns with the Elite Barb, the cheap Elite Barb deck. And, uh, okay. I'm not going to say anything, because I feel like at that point, that's just bad manners. I mean, you're, you're crushing a lower level player. Uh, why rub it in? There's almost nothing you can say right there that's nice. So, let's move on to the next deck. Okay, deck number two is going to be the Mirrored Cloned Minor Goblin Barrel Freeze deck. A uh, very popular and common deck, and uh, might take me a couple times to get this right. Uh, I might be getting owned by other players trying to pull off these tricky tricks here. Uh, just saying, uh, if you see my trophies dropping. Anyway, this guy's going to cry. He's got a spectator, and all uh, right, he's got... Oh, I, have, I have no good start here, so I'll just throw a couple of Goblin Barrels down there. And then if he doesn't zap them, I will freeze whatever's over there. Oh, I caught the Mega Minion. Nice, we caught the Mega Minion. So, okay, well that's one variation of the uh, Goblin Barrel Mirror Freeze clone deck. Uh, the Double Goblin Barrel Freeze. And, uh, okay, so we did that, that worked out okay. We got a tower. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, ideally, what I would like to be able to do is drop the Miner, the Goblin Barrel, the Mirror, and then clone the entire group and uh, watch them go to work. Um, we'll see. This guy's not a, not happy, but hey, this is what happens, you guys. This is trophy reset. You have to expect this is going to happen. Uh, I didn't drop trophies. Supercell made me drop trophies, okay? So, and all he can do is cry. Okay, I, I can't stand it when people cry, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute him uh, because it just, I start to cry. If, uh, if people around me are crying, then I start to cry, and soon everybody's crying, and it's just a terrible, terrible thing. All right, let's see if we can get these guys cloned. There we go. There's like eight. There's like eight of them. All right, so that was pretty quick, and uh, that was deck number two, Mirrored Cloned Miner Goblin Barrel Freeze deck. Uh, it works really well for trophy pushing and challenges and for tournaments as well.
All right, we are moving on to deck number three. Deck number three, all spells. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, the trick to the all spell deck is the Goblin Barrel is a spell. And I really like the Tornado, so I'm going to get rid of Zap. There we go. So 3.6 all spell deck. Who needs troops? Goblins, technically, but it's still a spell. Okay, so we found another level 10 player, so that's a good thing for us. And uh, let's just hope that this works out. Now, not a great starting hand. I'd rather not have to throw the old Gobby Barrel first, uh, but I will. Okay, so Goblin Barrel, and then uh, we've got the Lightning. We've got, okay, so here we go. Lightning on Elite Barbs. Please don't miss them. There we go. Nice! Oh, wow, that one shot at that other Elite Barb. And then we'll log over here. That Elite Barb's going to fall, and we're going to let the Hog Rider have its way with our tower. That didn't sound right, but you know what I meant. Okay, we're going to let it bang away. It's level 9, and okay, so we're about even right now. And I'm going to have to go with, I think, a Rocket over here. And, uh, oh, that would be nice if we could fireball this. Hold on. I think that might be fair value. Just in case we have to go 2-1, uh, we're going to start to work on the other tower. And archers. Splitting archers. Interesting. Okay, I've got another fireball up, but that's a 5 elixir fireball. I think we'll wait on that. Okay. I'm thinking he's probably got the hog rider again. Oh, the elite barbs, of course. Okay, so let's go with this. And then we will lightning. Wait a minute. Hold on. We will lightning the elite barbs. No, no, no. Oh, okay. That actually worked out okay. That worked out okay. We got the elite barbs out of the way. And uh, now it's time. Now it's time for another goblin barrel. Gobby barrel, go. Come on. What has he got? Oh, he's got the log. Zero hit points. All right. So that didn't work out so well. Uh, let's ignore that hog rider. Throw another goblin barrel. And, uh, and this is not going to work out in our advantage, is it? Okay, 106. And we lost a tower. All right, so anyway, um, the all spell deck not working out yet, but don't give up hope. I, I think that we still have a shot. Now we've got 106 on that right tower, which is, uh, I believe that's, that, is a, that is a log. And uh, we're going to go rocket on the left tower. We're going to log on the right tower. As soon as there he goes. Okay, now we can do the uh, fireball. Should work for the most part in those guys. Let's pull the hog rider away. Let's pull him further away. <laughs> oh man, the hog rider went completely down just from the tower, the towers, and the um, and the tornadoes. So hey, I didn't call it hurricane. Are you happy now? Gosh. Okay. Hold on. Let's go goblin barrel, and then let's lightning whatever is coming this way. Okay. And then let's log it and keep it back. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. Oh man, beautiful. And the fireball. Okay. So, uh, we got it. We still haven't won yet, though, you guys. Hold on. Come here, Hog Rider. All right. And a rocket. Means we can't mirror. And then let's go with the Goblin Barrel. He's probably going to log that, I think. That's what he did earlier. Um, a lightning spell on these three. Come on. Oh, okay. We got those down. 249. And that is going to do it. Okay. So, he's not happy. But I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't drop down here on purpose. I got reset to 4,000. And uh, I picked up the win. So again, uh, no taunts, no emotes, because no matter what you say, look at these six. All six of them are bad mannered in this uh, regard. You try, even if you say good game, it, nobody's going to take it seriously. All right, one more quick thing. I wanted to show you guys a recent match with Galadon Gem facing a player whose name I have kindly removed. Uh, now you'll notice three musketeers on the bridge, right side, fireball zap. Perfect combination to take out three musketeers, landing that zap before the fireball pushes them apart. A little bit later in the same match, the opponent, exact same thing. Three musketeers, fireball zap, and he also zaps my crown tower, trying to stun it so the three musketeers can get more damage in. And one more time, with about 10 seconds left, guess what? Three musketeers, fireball zapped once again. I couldn't help myself, gotta throw him the thumbs up. It was just too much fun. I probably will include that whole battle in a future video. Thank you guys, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. I appreciate you, every last one of you hashtag Galifam members. Please do hit a thumbs up, subscribe for the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. And yes, please do come back again tomorrow for more full attacks.
Donald. That wasn't me. You know, that was not me.